it definitely sticks out when a teacher just asks us like, hey, what did you guys do this weekend? Like anything exciting going on in your lives? Anything not so exciting going on? So I come from a really different academic background and I feel a lot of uh, pressure when interacting with faculty members. So I really appreciate um, the faculty are really approachable down to us. I just think that they need to be a bit more understanding with like the different identities that people hold, especially with like the BIPOC community specifically. There are differences in students and our people come with different background experiences. Be willing and open to learn about that because it really enhances students' ability to feel like they belong. Because a lot of those BIPOC students are also first generation students so like myself you can't really like ask your family to say like hey what should i do here they, they're gonna be like i don't know you're gonna have to figure that out yourself those differences don't have to like draw us apart but it could actually bring our school set together one teacher that i had that sticks out is a teacher that i had my freshman year and then again my sophomore year and she actually remembered me i feel really engaged in a course when the professor takes time to learn a little bit about the students and tailor their education or rather what they're teaching to the interests as much as they can. I feel like being responsive and interactive with the students is a huge part in having students pay attention. I wish I didn't just like run through a whole set of slides like during presentations. They just kind of like throw all this material at us all at once and expect us to kind of like know it immediately. And only to the end of it is like, any questions and then everybody just like when the professor puts on a slide you don't see where he or she is looking at on the slide so especially when you're looking at diagrams the professor doesn't point to it and just lectures that's difficult to follow use visual cues please <laughs> please i'm gonna i can't stress that enough say step one you know make gestures we're terrified to ask questions or to even answer questions because I think our worst fear for some reason is to sound or come off as stupid, even though questions is what helps you learn and like answering is what helps you learn. I feel really engaged in a course when a faculty member gives me processing time. I'm someone who needs time to think and to write and I don't do very well in high pressure conversations um, with a lot of other people. I'm really engaged in a course when I'm asked questions. I like questions where they ask about our opinions versus just giving us like the answer straight up. Gathering feedback is very important to me just because when it is shown that a teacher is listening or a professor is listening to the students and wanting to improve, and even if the feedback that's given isn't very helpful or if it's just you're doing a great job, it makes me feel heard, it makes me feel listened to, and it makes me feel the professors really want the best experience uh, for me. I really need instructors to be hands off, but for them themselves to be organized. Here's how it's going to be graded. Here's the assignments, like a clear syllabus that is not going to change. Once we know what to expect from a class, then it's a lot easier for students to manage everything. One place that uh, professors can improve on is using Canvas really well. Just keeps the students informed as to where they are and also provides the resources they need to do better in the class. We need those things ahead of time because we're parents and caregivers and commuters, and that's a lot to try to fit in. Professors that are just like passionate about what they're teaching, I would say is really nice because it, it wears off on the students, like I'm more engaged in what they're talking about. The professors that go above and beyond that are really excited about the material. If there's any way you can relay that excitement that you have about the class to the students, I think that it really rubs off on the students. A professor could sway a student's career choice just on how passionate they are about a certain subject because I, I know that certainly happened to me. I definitely really enjoy when a professor's personality comes through their like lessons and teaching. It just makes it seem a lot more personable like oh like I could actually be friends with this professor if like we, we were in like some sort of normal setting. Large classes I feel really engaged when the professor brings a lot of energy to the course instead of just um, you know showing how they really feel because we all know they're tired and exhausted. Having like really powerful conversations with faculty and staff have made me such a stronger scholar and I think kind of a better participant in the world. I think the top priority as a professor should be learning rather than evaluating. It's nice when you would rather see your students learn than get A's. Feeling like I was a priority has made such a difference.